Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock Repair Philippines. Got a new package in. So we're gonna get into it and see what it's all about. Ordered some new stuff here. I'm gonna go too deep on it. There we go. Probably a parts camera more than likely. I'm not too worried about scratching it or cutting it up like I just did. Uh, the photos, it's got a, it's missing a cover here and somewhere else. Oh yeah, this part right here. That will cover right there. But the main reason I ordered it was, where are you? Is this. Single eight cartridge, RT two hundred. All right. So cool. I got that, and I'm pleased. All right. That's getting me nowhere right now. out of the way as far as this is concerned yeah see how bad that is right there that's not good let's take a look at the battery compartment see how bad off it is I'm sure it's not in good shape The seller sold me the film cartridge, but actually gave me this camera. But you know what? If it turns out it's clean in here, then it's possible it would work. If it's got too many other problems with it, then what are you going to do? This is really difficult to get off. I'm going to see if I can detach this and get back. Alright, I had to put it in my lap in order to continue to screw this off, so... Yep. That's not so bad. But we definitely got some issues there. But it's possible that could be saved if we even want to. The only thing I don't like about a single 8 camera like this is that the handle is fixed. I don't like those. And the reason for that being is when you go to invest in a case, they're, you know, they're just much more expensive. And I like the folding handles. I just really do. Alright. So this is, this is a Fujika single 8 Z450. And it even comes with some spiders and ants as well. Alright. Open up, push in, open up. All right, so surprisingly, it's pretty clean inside. Not too bad. All right, Not too, too terribly bad there. Let's look at some other stuff. 
Alright, I'm going to attempt to take a diamond file and remove some of this corrosion just for the sake of finding out if it's going to operate at all. If these things don't snap off. These springs, that is. This will take time. I'll get back on this too, but just to show you what's going on. You gotta scrape this gunk off of here. So I have the choice to either repair this or use it as a parts camera. Alright. Same goes here. I can have a repair this clean it up, whatever I want to do. What I'm doing right here is showing you there's no point in cleaning even this part right here until I get the other stuff down inside the handle cleaned. Even though I'm doing it anyway. Some of it. Alright, finish it a little bit, maybe. Okay, so this fell out of the uh, spring fell out of the inside of the handle right there. As I suspect, it's just not worth too much, it's just for parts, that type of a deal. So, I have parts right there in town I need. Uh, what is this again? Z450. I can either use it for other purposes as well to rewind film. It's always a good thing. Alright, get back to this in a minute. Okay, so on this camera you have 18 frames a second. 24 frames a second and slow motion which is 36 frames a second and those are great features um, more great features you have the uh, up here autofocus right there okay that's a great feature there here Zero red there for standard filming mode. Push this in, you got one stop over, two stops over. Right there is generally how it goes. How it goes, actually. Automatic rewind and then manual rewind, which those of you who don't know, you just pull this out and crank it around right there All right since this one is just parts camera I can just use it for something to rewind film again turn it around other great functions are the uh, EE okay that's really good there from here standard filming again from zero all the way to closed for the shutter fade-ins and fade-outs you can lock that you want to lock it okay here push this in go down to the red L that's for lock okay now we're going to push it in again that's for run right there that would be right there that would be single frame and here you would have remote control all these are great features on this camera so if you're just getting into single eight 
the Fujika Z450 is a great model to invest in. The only thing I don't like about cameras like this, uh, again, is it has a fixed handle. And that means that the uh, professional case that you get for it, you don't want to use the original cases, they're just not protective enough. Um, from water, the elements, and shock from moving it in and out of transport and commuting. Okay, this handle does not fold. So, for basically, when the handle folds on some other Fujika models, you can get a $30 American um, case, protective case, usually. Uh, one like this is going to go up in price to about a hundred US dollars. That's the problem. Okay, and you probably didn't even pay that much for the single eight camera. That's the issue there. Um, again, this is a this is a parts camera because the lens is just covered in fungus. And what I mean, you can't clean it because the fungus has already embedded itself into the lens. And once it's inside the lens, there's no cleaning that will remove it. It's inside the glass itself. Okay? So, buyers, have your sellers send you videos and photos of how clean the lens is and stuff like that. Okay? And you've seen the battery compartment. That's what you want to see is that battery compartment in there. Okay? So, if I ever need plates and stuff like this you know, the transfer on or whatever it may be, then I've got it. Okay, but I would, you know, but as far as uh, any film students getting into Single 8, I would highly suggest this model, the Fujika Single 8 Z450. Got great features on it. Okay, so film students and enthusiasts, if you want to invest in uh, this particular model and you, uh, and uh, sellers, you want to make a good sale here. You have one, two, three, four screws here. Micro Phillips. And you can check. Buyers, ask your sellers to check for you. In here, if there's any rust corrosion in there, just remove these screws right here to this bottom plate. Alright. It's very simple very easy and that way to save both of you a hassle and any type of online financial dispute All right. just lift this up, this is the bottom plate It'll lift up a little bit. This is a pressure plate right here. I'm pushing it into my pencil eraser. Take this plate, pull it straight back, lift it up. Okay, so there you are there. This is good, clean. You can see the inner workings inside. Okay, so here you can see the gear system, the electronics. You're looking around for any type of mold, corrosion, rust, anything like that around there, okay? Amazingly, this is quite clean, okay? There's some rust right down here at the end of my pencil eraser, okay? So that's bad news. This could be cleaned off, you know, this right here, okay? But anything else is an issue. So that needs to be cleaned right down there, okay? That does. Got some rust here on the, that part of the pressure plate. Okay, so you can, do, you can perform a basic cleaning, sellers, and get in there and do that. Don't get any type of alcohol on the electronics at all. You can see some of my other video that I have on a on the Z800 of a basic cleaning in here okay just make sure you got all that rust corrosion fungus okay sometimes you'll have particles from around the side of here that are from the 
uh, the light seals that have dropped inside of there. There'll be black pieces, gooey black pieces that have dropped inside of there, okay? All right, and uh, just to slide that plate back in, take it, slide it in like that, okay? It'll take a little bit of a little bit of pushing, and then it just pops back right in. All right, not too much of an issue. All right. Although at this point in time, I think I'm caught. What am I caught on? Ah. There we go. I'll show you what I was caught on. You see this right here? This silver piece? right there that's what the plate was caught on get the plate up under that all right this piece right here the silver piece get the plate back in there give it a couple of taps make sure it's seated which it is and go ahead and reapply these screws there's usually about eight turns to these screws on here I start out with five, going all the way around at first. Make sure everything's properly seated. That's your way. You may have yours. Three, and four. Eight turns. No need to put it too tight. It's fairly snug. All right. I'm going to strip nothing. All right. All right, so there you are. Close the door, push in, turn it, and you're done. All right, sellers, use some uh, alcohol. This is the alcohol you want to use. You want to use at least... 87% anything less is just a lot of water it's not going to do the job and clean everything quite well you can also use some metal polish to get some of that rust off do not use any WD-40 it will liquefy plastic parts and destroy everything get yourself some microfiber cloths that type of deal okay I would really not suggest using any uh, q-tips unless you really know what you're doing because the, the pieces of q-tips can come off and get in, trapped inside the gears and cause problems in operation with the camera okay so I have to look out for myself when I'm doing that I've been doing this 30 plus years so I really just I look out for that okay so uh, that's pretty much it and that way you can clean it up for your customer Okay, so that's it for the uh, Fujika Single 8 Z450. I would highly suggest this camera. It's got a lot of great features on it. It really does. Do contact me at the social media outlets provided on the screen. And remember, as always, do subscribe. Until next time.